So, right, if you're watching the game, hopefully you can hear us now. Apologies about that last game. This is all a test at the end of the day. And yeah, cheers. Thanks very much, Boston. I, f I do agree that uh, it's very good to have an, uh, the sort of analysis for which Slash provide. And I like to think that, obviously, don't get me wrong, I've got a lot to improve on on my casting. I find that I repeat myself a lot with my uh, words and my discussion and stuff like that. And I need to probably bring the hype bear in, in a way as well. But um, yeah, I thanks for the, the hype feedback. It's pretty, it's pretty um, I guess it's pretty appropriate. Um, yeah, it, I, it's true. It, the end of the day, like sometimes you'll be watching and there's just constant action. I think that working, I uh, I watched, I think it was the Join Dota 24 hour stream and they were talking about their casting and they were saying about a lot of people when they want obviously advice on their casting, they link team fights and stuff like that. But when yeah. really it should be the lulls in the fighting and how you fill that space. And I agree with that quite a lot. Yeah. So, so they talked about how you have to maybe not focus too much on team fights, but focus on um filling out the space or what did you say exactly it, well it's the idea that when people look for feedback they're asking yeah. for feedback on oh okay so like here's a team fight how am i doing this oh, when yeah, really right. it's uh, here's 10 minutes where nothing really happens because both teams yeah. farm in what what should you talk about because a lot of a lot of people naturally obviously you go over in like net worths items i'm progression potential fights right. and stuff like that but it's it's a lot uh it's still there's a lot to talk about and sometimes you could rush through it and then you're with minutes of dead air waiting for stuff to happen but um anyway we are in the game now yep they uh, they banned boot mother they hate boot mother and wisp is banned as well so yeah. that's um but it's i guess it's mostly in you actually see it in ell i guess a lot that people banned boot mother they just kind of hate it so much as you said, if you have the wrong tool set with your draft and they surprise you with a broom of it, you are then fighting an uphill battle from minute yeah. one. And if you hate it that much, why bother facing it? That's the way to say it. Oh, quick question for the people watching. I uh, hope Slash's audio levels are right on my stream. Can you let me know in the chat if uh, if you uh, let me know? But right, anyway. Sorry, I'll throw that together. I think the audio is fine, but I'm just watching the levels and trying to check when you speak that it works okay. So, Lion banned out as well. We saw the Lion do a hell of a lot of work last game. Yeah. And it's a great support. Omni Knight ban, that's... It's kind of kind of funny bans, this game, I guess. Yeah. What Looks do you like think more... about Omni Knight? What, what did you say? What do you really think about Omni Knight? Obviously, counted heavily by just a Diffuser Blade, and they've made Diffuser Blade so much better as well. With a... Yeah. It's, I, it's a weird one. I, I think maybe uh, second stage bans because right now if they pick him you can always go like a diffusal carry hero so you can get like maybe phantom lancer or whatever other hero maybe naga i don't know mm. i think omni knights is not that big of a problem but actually what we talked about before on the cast one thing i thought was kind of interesting is that red eye i read some article about, about what we talked about casting and one thing he actually said was kind of underrated is kind of these moments of silence like 10 seconds maybe of silence in between and then suddenly picking up, up again he, oh yeah i think he thought about better. like the art of silence that was pretty interesting but that's also something that's i think is extremely difficult so yeah it's it's very difficult to know the the idea that you're pausing for effect rather than or like trying to gather your own thoughts by stopping taking a moment when obviously nothing is perhaps going on yeah. and being able to uh, like process it well I, I think that's extremely difficult and it's a lot of things uh, well it's something that people struggle with so which doctor went, oh sorry Karen. I actually went witch doctor and juggernaut um witch doctor is kind of a weird pig now but juggernaut it's it's, it's kind of the rage of the moment like everyone loves juggernaut mm, flavor of the extreme, month, but extremely yeah, good extremely strong so what what would be the slasher's way for a juggernaut then because obviously everyone at the moment it's like the sort of phase mask of madness what yeah. how do you rate that I actually, I think it's it's a really good build, but the way I played him before he got buffed is I usually went mid on him, and then I got boots, and then I got a bottle, and then I rushed Midas. Um, All right, yeah. Because with Midas, if you look at that hero, he needs levels so badly. He also gets so much better when he gets levels, um, and then afterwards with Midas, I would get like a Ganon, Scepter, and then transition into a carry. Um, and I had a lot of success with my Juggernaut, but I may actually go back to the not build Mask of Madness, it's a good build, but I think you can still play him like my way. Um, mm. I think there's a lot of flexibility with Juggernaut as well. Yeah. You have seen him picked up. Uh, I can't remember what game recently, but you have seen him picked up as a support role as well. Just the utilization of uh, the healing ward being able to yeah. do so much work. Obviously, still great as his core role. And he, he can do a lot of work. But uh, Brewmaster is picked up for the Radiant. 
again, great hero, brings so much to the team fight, and it's going to be difficult for the Dyer to be able to sort of hold against this. But so, I, sp I suppose Witch Lord is still pretty good with that, having the cask. Yeah, they, they don't, don't really have anything to stop his ulti now, but I guess they're going to get it. And I, I think Brewmaster will actually be pretty good against getting the, the Juggernaut healing ward. What, what, like, the one Cardinal Sin or Deadly Sin I see on Juggernaut is when people don't get healing ward at all. That's... At least just get one point in healing ward, because that spell is just so... Good. It's no, I, I totally good. agree. That is a, a pet peeve of mine, because it's something that could be used for, obviously, your pushing, your farming, just top it up. Like, there's there's so many situations where you're like, oh, the healer will be great here. The value point is is, is just great for it. Obviously, I can understand people taking stats and stuff like that, and I believe, uh, yeah, I, I believe it's just one of those things that it's nine times out of ten, it's always worth taking. Yeah. And we do see Medusa banned as uh, well, with the Venomancer as well. Venomancer, I could see being quite nice. If you get the wards down, it's actually incredibly annoying for a Juggernaut to try and position his healing ward around having yeah. to deal with those wards. I think with. ELL right now, Europe Elite League. I think the meta in there is kind of Venom and some mid, I guess, because I see a lot of Venom getting banned. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's very nice. Lich picked up for the Radiant and oh, Dazzle and Axe for the Dire. So they get they get Dazzle and then take Axe straight after because yeah. obviously, well, you want you want to have the Shallow Grave have its use. But what do you think of this Lich pick up for the Radiant? Um, I'm not sure. I think. It, it's probably pretty good against Juggernaut. It uh, can disable his physical uh, attacks a lot. Um, mm. So it's it's fine. It's fine support. They haven't revealed their carries yet. And um... Yeah, just trying to keep their cards close to their chest at the moment. The, the uh, armor which uh, provide... Oh, Queen of Pain. Very nice. But yeah, the armor that Lich could provide is actually pretty nice as well. Between, uh, the hits in between the Omni Smash, which can go off. It just gives you a little bit of extra survivability. I think that having his um chain frost with the dazzle uh, with a shallow grave is actually really nice because you kind of use the shallow grave target as like a conduit for to en uh, enable the bounces to keep going yeah but yeah someone said i muted my daughter tv but i'm not sure maybe it will work in game i see the green bar going up so i think i have all the settings if you know anything of any uh, studios, then um Sure, I'll, I'll keep an eye on my chat, so let me know if you're watching in-game as well. Although, I imagine if you're on my Twitch chat, you're not going to be in-game. But I'll tr I could unmute it when we get into the game yeah. and see if I can hear you as well, just to so give it a quick test. So, Radiant gets Queen of Pain in the middle. Um, and they're yet to reveal the safe lane carry. So, I would guess it would maybe be... Maybe Brewmaster off lane, Queen of Pain mid, and then a tri lane bot. I'd may actually do a dual lane. Like, mm. dual top and dual safe lane. Yeah, very, uh, very nice. I think you've got some flexibility in how they could do it. I Obviously, with the support, you normally see some rotations. Do you reckon a Venge Lich could do that much work if they rotate together? Like, I suppose Frost Blast, it does a fair yeah. amount of damage, but it's hard to run someone down if they did rotate. I think they're probably going to just, since if they're going to have Queen of Pain mid, they just need a Vengeful to Solo Smog in, and sure. um, then Lich can just stay in lane. Um, just keep sacrificing creeps back, yeah. trying to get his own. Yeah, okay, well, that, that was fine. And but I'm I actually think... curious to see if they're going to go with uh, Brewmaster mid and then Queen off lane or, or the other way around. Never have I seen such a horn, and I absolutely adore Magnus as a hero. I think he's just great. Like, obviously, RP is such a great spell. Having him power with a Juggernaut is going to be great as well. They could have... They could do some... If they manage to get an RP off, they've got huge team fight potential they've got the witch doctor they've yeah. got the axe they could obviously keep someone in place for so long with a berserker's call cool, reverse polarity they've got cask as well as well obviously i'm assuming that the witch doctor gets enough farm to get a, an agadems the death ward i'm liking this team for the dire obviously not yeah. to undersell the radiant but Broom, yeah. brewmaster can really mess it up and also with lich ulti and Queen of ulti. so both teams have really strong late game i'm really curious to see what what's their safe lane carry gonna be yeah, this could uh, have quite a nice impact. Like I, like he was saying, Brewmaster is just a master of <laughs> disabling these team fights. Well, not so much disabling, but just disrupting them. I think with... I will call uh, call White here. Yeah. I think I'll try to call White. Uh, well, yeah, he would be a great choice. So we'll we'll have to see if they agree with you, though. I think, yeah, the Void. I'm trying to think what else would be nice. And they've gone Wind for Ranger. the Wind Ranger. Wow. Mm. 
that's um, they, I guess they're gonna rely on Queen of Pain carry, but they don't. It's pretty funny they don't have any hard carry. Yeah, so Wind... I think I I still I really really like Windrunner, and I think with her latest buffs, like the amount of damage output she can have as a core is great. However, mm. incredibly easy to kill, especially with like a Juggernaut. I I I don't know. This is gonna be. I I always you know. I actually play a lot of Wind Ranger mid, and she can be so powerful late game. Um, mm. If you get a Ganem, and you just get any like crit item or anything, then she can uh, deal out huge amount of damage. A 15 second cooldown on the uh, Aghanim, sorry, mm. with like the 0% is. It's absurd how much damage output she could have, especially. What do you feel about um, like Maelstrom and Diffusal and having the stack together? I'll quickly test your audio now, so keep speaking in yeah. game. Yeah, um, I hope I can hear myself. Like, people can hear me on Dolce TV. Probably I have a bubble at least. Yeah, yes. I can hear you. So, um, <laughs> um, well, I think, I think they might. They are they might actually doing Wind Ranger do safe plane? Or, yeah, okay, so they're actually doing a Wind Ranger safe plane. I guess why they're doing this is that they're afraid of uh, X. In the offlane, so that's why they not they don't do like void hard mm. carry because he can just uh, X can just shut him down. Um, okay, I think when I select myself as cameraman, it locks me to your hero selection for whatever reason. I'll sort this in the future, so okay, I won't press sure. that ne press that next time. Sure. But at least we know why it's happening now. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, your audio in game is working fine. Cool. So. Um, I'll quickly run through the Radiant team then. So, as we said, Windrunner are going to be taking the safe lane. That's D Sun 1, or D Sun 1. And Gold on the ceiling on the Vengeful Spirit is going to be with them. Up top, we do see Juggernaut coming out here, actually getting daggered already. Gets blasted as well, spins away. Brewmaster's going to walk him down though. Doesn't have Clap available yet. There's going to be Clap. Clap uh, can to follow. They're also coming with Shadow, Shadow Grave or Heal. Yeah, not going to die. Takes a lot of harassment. And uh, there's a weed off called. And uh, yeah, so as I was saying, GG well played on the yeah. Lich, gasps audibly on the Brewmaster, and we have push on the Queen of Pain. This could okay, be I'll do uh, die quickly though. So we have 1, 2, 3 on the Juggernaut, and a smiley face on, on Magnus, Jiu Jitsu on the Dazzle, Solai, the PA from last game on Witch Doctor now, and the uh, Dot. Uh, Exclamation mark, yeah. Exclamation mark, that's um, on X. I'm not sure what's that supposed to be, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got some interesting names. We do see Juggernaut did go all the way back, just healed himself up and TP to the lane. So he hasn't missed out on anything and uh, keeps his regen because of it. So he's, he's going to have nice. a really tough time um, top against Brewmaster and Lich. They're going to be able to shut him down. And I actually like this Wind Ranger pick a lot because I guess he's going to be able to stand um, in the safe lane. If they had any other carry, he wouldn't be able to stand here. Yeah, it, it, it's, it makes it awkward. A lot of harassment from the Dazzle, just uh, trading blows with the Windrunner quite well. I suppose it's a Wind Ranger. Anyway, yeah, Venge rotating around from the side. I don't think they can achieve a kill down here, but as long as they manage to keep the Windrunner alive, keep the farm going, they'll be happy with that much. Yeah, if, if they can, they should shut down Juggernaut. Uh, as soon as this gets level two, mm. but at least uh, we started going up there, so it's gonna be um, gonna be kind of close because they could actually kill the the lich if they yeah, have a good Yeah, it takes position. a lot of harassment from the witch doctor there. Yeah, a lot of oh, attacks, and now Brewmaster taking the damage, the clap dodge from the spin, and Brewmaster's gonna go down blood. here, and that's One first blood going nice. to the witch doctor. Very very nice Good indeed, face. and lich, oh very One close. Oh, that was that was good. Yeah, good thing he didn't die for it. If that was first but double kill onto the same, like you said, on a juggernaut you could have been bullied out of lane. That was not how they wanted this to go down at all. It's actually pretty weird. Lich went frost blast level one, so I guess he that's I guess that's because they went for the the first blood on juggernaut um, yeah. in the middle. So we couldn't deny anything and I think that's really hurting the lane. It means the juggernaut's able to get those early levels and yeah, they're now pulling onto the side and they're gonna get quite a lot down here. So yeah, a nice first blood, and it's a shame to see it go that way. We do see Magnus just got the bounty rune. Queen of Pain has bought it. Invis hasn't activated it yet. So it, it's there's some movements around, but it probably, like you said, down bot. Windrunner's got to just try and keep farming, try and not worry too much about the axe. Although when Axe gets his blink dagger up, this is when the momentum starts to fall away from the radiant. Yeah, I think they kind of mid game if the radiant doesn't do a lot there, then they're just gonna lose late game, I guess. Um, this this Juggernaut is gonna be pretty powerful. 
There's pretty much no one who can really do much about him. Mm. What do you think about the changes to Queen of Pain? With like obviously the the, the blink and uh, <laughs> yeah, the I think it's it's a pretty good uh, buff on her with the new blink distance. I think she's a, she's a pretty good hero where she is at the moment. And she's gonna want to go in here mid. There's the dagger. She did use the invis up she well. She in. does have a blink available. Will she go for this? Blinking, blinking. Oh, Blink's getting out of range. That's really good. Did one more hit, I think. He got bottle, he can bottle out of it. Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't he doesn't quite die, and uh, Queen of Pain just being a real nuisance to the Magnus. They're going bottom down with X. And this is nice, gotta get the kill on Venge. Can you get the X here? I don't you think so. You can use magic stick and then try to nuke him, but it's gonna be a hard hit with the, the yeah, power Yeah, that's true. No, Realizes it's off to the side, but no, doesn't, doesn't quite see it, I think. I think she he should just, uh, she should just have changed the, uh, like chase the X. At least try to go for the nuke. Yeah, try and commit for the kill. I agree with that. Axe having the tranquils means he's just going to be healing up here full. And there's Venge. Venge does spot out the axe, so they do see him here on the side. Windrun has come around. It has enough mana for one spell, as you said. Taking a lot of damage here from the Dazzle. Gets oh. healed from the creep. So there's the heal bomb doing the damage. 160 health. Stun used on the Venge. Well, from the Venge onto the Dazzle. And it's pretty nice. So what do we see here on the carrier? Yeah, this is... <laughs> right, R remind me next time, by the way, about the uh, ca uh, camera, because, like, I was like, oh, I'll click on the courier, then I'm waiting for you yeah, to... <laughs> sure, I the have yeah, a no problem. Now. Yeah, bottle, stick, and uh, TPs, that's fine. Right. And Lich blasts out the Witch Doctor. Healing Ward was skilled early, so the Witch Doctor harassments won't matter too much. But we do see rotations. Queen of Pain's here with DD. Got to be able to get the Healing Ward down straight away if she wants. No? Uh, yeah, okay, well, oh, yeah, they're easy stuff. kill. Easy kill there. And Juggernaut spin. I think one of the reasons that Juggernaut is actually also incredibly powerful right now is that people kind of know that he can solo Roshan with just Mask of Madness and I think about level 11. Um, I really, I think it's kind of weird that there's so many heroes right now that can solo Roshan. Of course we have Ursam and we also have PA and we have um, Juggernaut and also Troll now. And especially yeah. in pub games when people solo Roshan, it's just, every time someone solos Roshan, uh, against me, I just feel like GGing because it just gets a huge advantage. It does so, feel like the game starts to you, you like lose momentum. You you obviously have the Aegis factor. It's, it's a lot of things just suddenly move away from your control. And Magnus here mid skewers in, goes to the shortwave, but that was a nice blink to dodge it. And uh, Queen of Pain's able to back it out from there, taking a lot of damage here. So uh, can you uh, target Queen of Pain a second so I can see her skill board? Yeah, sure. Yeah, she so actually she went fast. three three in Shadow Strike. Um, which I'm not sure. I'm not an expert queen of player, but it's I think it's pretty unusual. Usually max just queen of pain. No, yeah, I I guess I could see the merits of it against the Magnus being able to run him down force. I suppose the bottle has been crowed a lot up here, but hasn't really changed much. Up to top, we still see Juggernaut trying to farm up. We do see a cast being thrown. That was some nice bounce onto the brew. The brew doesn't decide to go in for the Witch Doctor, so they're able to hold their ground there. So it's not really working as they attended bottom, I guess. Um, yeah, Wind is actually having a pretty tough time, but they're going on Dazzle now. And Dazzle will die. He doesn't have enough mana to grave. No, he does have his stick, but still not enough. And he goes down. Axe is still here as well. Again, the dagger coming out, and that is really nasty. Axe is going to have to try and walk himself home. There's the shackle. We don't have any mana for power shot. Not quite, but they were able this to run him down. Dagger's off again. Actually doing a lot of work right now. Yeah, really nice. The cooldown of it being so low and just... Catching them underneath the tier 1 there, able to constantly shadow strike them out, just stops them being able to fall back, and it does a lot of work. So full credit to push there with the skill, and making sure that, because he's skilled that, going to the uh, the correct lanes at the right times to be able to force this pressure is really nice. I guess um, Queen of Pain's reasoning was that she was going to gank a lot, and then this shadow strike is just going to be really good. Um, and it's actually working out pretty well now. Yeah. it's It, it can have, like... Oh, we have a smoke. I think I saw a smoke somewhere. Yeah, well, maybe not. Magnus going bottom with haste rune. <laughs> Pre-master calling out the co-op there, but and yeah, that's a kill bot. Magnus coming out with a haste rune as well as obviously the axe going to town on the windrunner. So, <laughs> Brewmaster on that team did call out the co-op. But I, I was going to say, credit with credit is due. They did work. And uh, there's another cast on to Brewmaster. Brewmaster just getting stunned up, but Juggernaut not able to go in. Doesn't have his ult available yet. There is the clap, but Lich gets a blast off onto the Daz uh, Dazzle, sorry, onto the Witch Doctor again. And that heal from Witch Doctor, what a great value spell, just constantly keeping them up. The, the amount of healing this lane has with the healing ward as well as Witch Doctor's heal, it's pretty absurd, really. Yeah. Jara going the 1-1 one, one build, which we see so much these days. Mm. Yeah, very nice indeed. 
Uh, Avengers retain up as well. Another cast catches out the Lich, gets a blast off onto uh, the Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor trying to walk away. There we see the clap again, and Doom not able to split. catch the Lich. This is. Witch Doctor oh, is dead now. Yeah. And they could also perhaps kill the Jar as well. This is, yeah. this is a big issue here. Shame to see Jar not going down like that. Was that a case of the treads not having the movement speed to run down the Lich? The Lich went very low. And Magnus is here, but I don't think you should go in. I think you should just be happy to back out and just take the farm to the tower when the. Yeah. I think maybe, yeah, I guess he couldn't run him down. Face may have worked better there. Um, True. It's, I, it's Obviously, it's one kill, so you don't want to plan your whole... Oh, oh, and there we go. Axe caught again. This is the Shadow Strike. Really doing work. They're just running him down. There is a Shallow Grave available, but again, another Shadow Strike could go down. But wait, goes to use on the Dazzle. This could be an RP potential. There we go. RP's on to Windrunner. Caught out. Shockwave to follow. Windrunner uses the Bold Charge up in between. Ghost got a Shackle yet? No, not quite. And Shadow Strike now. again onto Magnus. Better Magnus tries to Shockwave. Oh, gets the kill. Dodge. Nearly. Yeah, as you said, a close dodge. And there's a lot of action going on right now. This middle lane is pretty much just abandoned completely and people just go around yeah. doing it constantly. They're like, right, okay, well, it's gank o'clock. Let's just leave the farm and get yeah. into it. It's, it's Mag crazy. Magnus almost got uh, his blink dagger, so that's a uh, pretty decent timing. That is really nice. Okay, let's quickly just check. So, yeah. Uh, so, no real big items coming up yet. Lich is well, building Bru towards... Brewmaster getting blink dagger almost. Uh, oh, right, needs, okay, yeah, it's good. He almost had Blink down now. Oh, so God, that's... yeah, he's, yeah, got it, five gold away now. Blink on the brew is going to really change the course of this game. And Juggernaut going to get this tower. Yeah, there's the Blink on brew. Nice, good stuff. As you called it. It's a kind of weird build on Juggernaut with Treads and then Aquila. Um, well, uh, let's see how it works out later. Yeah, but I well, think they're going to jump him now, maybe. Oh, mid lane. We do see Magnus pulling back the Venge, but this is the... Oh, there's the ult he used, and Magnus does go down there. Doesn't kill the Venge, and it was a case of being caught out, so... He didn't get by his blink, blink dagger. He needed, like, I think, maybe 10, 20 gold, something for the Oh, that's dagger. a shame. Be kill, a being kill. killed at a moment like that, that is really disappointing. Oh, pardon me. But, yeah. I think they could actually just try to take a tier 1 tower now with Brewmaster, I yeah, Brewmaster's uh, top of the last hits, and it's been in quite a contested lane, you could argue. I suppose the Lich has been blasting the uh, the Witch Doctor and the uh, Juggernaut to try and keep him back. But with that, look at this movement speed on the Witch Doctor mid when the dagger comes out. That is really nasty. Obviously, you yeah. don't want to dive the tier 1 with no mana on the quad. I think so. Panda's going to dive now here. Yeah. yeah, although, uh, as you said, Brewmaster doesn't care. He's got in, uses his split, doesn't put the magazine in the air, but he wants to now. commit to so the Witch Doctor. This is really this risky. Yeah, this is a case of taking a long time to kill a Witch Doctor, and there's the Shallow Grave. <laughs> Does has been put on the air, but it was a little bit too late. Witch Doctor there has the ult, he uses it, but he's now stunned. And Witch Doctor survives through it all. Oh, still not enough to get the kill. Tries to attack him down, but Magnus wow. commits. Tries to kill the Brewmaster. Brewmaster's can focused. Got to die here. Will he manage to get the kill? And he won't. He committed. That is a disaster. Now, was that the Brewmaster uh, Earth Panda change? Because it dealing, what is it, half damage now? 50 damage from 100? He went low. I wasn't sure if he went to 50. Well, yeah, I, like I guess the, the, the stun deals less damage now, or half yeah. damage. But I don't know, I'm not sure. If nah, yeah, I would have to watch the replay there to call if it was exactly that. And Axe Downbot gets stunned off by the Venge, and there's the kill. Did get the taunt on the win row, but that's not enough to actually finish the job. Big stuff. Okay. We actually see that Juggernaut is leading the net worth, um, closely followed by... Actually, four heroes. Pretty, pretty close top of the yeah, net Yeah, it's a heavily contested top of the net worth there. None of them are really farming really well. It's uh, It's been all over the map, pretty much everyone. There's been a lot of action. Well, I say that, a lot of action, but not really that many kills. There's been a lot of engagements which have resulted in people running away. Seven kills to the Radiant, six for the Dyer. Uh, Witch Doctor is smoked up here middle. And... Yeah, he would get more kills here. And Magnus with the RP goes in. There's the RP. Pulls back the skewer. But there's the swap as well as it happened. Lich comes up with the ulti. Doesn't bounce onto the Witch. Or the Witch also right. Gets a match to get a kill. Will he get a second? Oh, very close. But the Lich ulti does bounce back. Didn't finish the Witch Doctor off. But same that the Shockwave didn't hit onto Lich. That's very nice. They're going to push bottom now while they're fighting it. Oh, I don't here think we go. they're going to be right to that. Brewmaster blinks straight in, gets the kill on Magnus, goes to get the Witch Doctor as well, runs him down. This is that heal, still doing so much work, wasting the Brewmaster's time. There's Shadow Grave available on the Dazzle as well, so this time Brewmaster learns from his mistake. He's like, you know what, I've done this once before, I'm going to back out. But no, wait, will he want to go back in with the Invis? This time Dazzle isn't with him. He's five mana off for his clap, uses his ball, now. has Blink available, goes to clap, 
And Witch Doll's got nothing he can do. He's just going to get all attacked down here. No crit, but it doesn't matter. There's the stick oh, charges and there's the hill. Wow. Well oh played. my god. How infuriating yeah, for the Brewmaster. Yeah, it's now. X going to jump him now. Axe gets the... Oh, no. They just trade high ground. Has got blink available, but so does... No. Okay. Right. There oh, we go. It doesn't blink. Jungle's here. He's beating with, uh, Jungle coming oh, as well. And there's the split. This time he will be able to get away. Could put one of them in the air. Goes to stun off the axe, but decides not to put the Juggernaut in the air. I now he does. Brewmaster should stay. Yeah. He, he had to use his split to stay alive, but oh, Ven mm -hmm. should back out here. Should be more careful. Mask Commander's now on the Juggernaut. This is going to lead to a lot of work, and they are going to take Roshan. It's actually pretty big that they um, bait out this split because now they can just take Roshan. Yeah, very, very nice. And this is also the power of Juggernaut. He can so easy for him to take Roshan. Very nice indeed. I think after they take Roshan, they should probably go for tier 1. Since um, the boost I may need to before. just. Uh, Shut down my stream for a second after this and restart because I'm having some issues, but that's fine. So, yeah, as you said, Roshan got to go down here soon. Uh, so, yeah, we talked about this earlier with the ability to take Roshan down and changing like, the course of the game and the uh, impact. And Brewmaster's coming in. Too little, too late, though. They wanted to try and come in there. And what items do you reckon they need now to make a difference on the Radiant? Is Queen of Pink building towards a Yules? She does have the Staff of Wizardry as long yeah, as... Yeah, she looks like a Yules. Um, I'm not sure why she's getting a Yules. They don't have really have any silence on this team. So that's kind of weird pickup. Mm. Um, I, they, they're going to get Maelstrom on um, Wind Ranger soon, which is going to help her at least get some solo kills. Um, if you have, when you have Maelstrom, then you can pretty much kill anyone sort of with your RC. They're gonna dive to uh, tier 1. And yeah, this is it. They want to go all in here. They want to get these kills down, and they want to try and make work. Juggernaut's still there, taking a lot of damage. Does have his Aegis available, but he's tanking... Well, he's got his healing one available. As long with the Witch Dodger as well, they're gonna be able to heal a lot. Axe here, trying to tank it up as well. Venge could go for a swap on the side, but no, wait. There's the Axe. Blinks in, taunts the Queen of Pain. There's the... Oh, God. Witch Dodger always used as well. Venge gets the swap out. Lichol only gets the two bounces. Axe doesn't have a taunt available. There's the Quap Scream, and gets the kill. GBM and they still India. haven't finished this tier 1. They actually got the, um, the tier 1 top, the Radiant dead, so mm. that was actually a really good trade for them. And Queen of Pain went so low, so low health, but the Venge swap really, really helped him out there. Yeah, are just going ham now. And yeah, Doing that's Hanoi onto the Lich. Nice stuff. Shackle out, hands onto a creep, and that's the RP. Oh. Catches on three. Juggernaut's able to do his lot of work. There's the Empowers as well as the Mask Commanders. Evasion out of the Windrunner, but wait, there is Queen of Pain. Still got to try and chase down the Juggernaut. That's spinning back in. He should try and run. He does have his Aegis available, but they're trying to back out to the trees. This time, Brewmaster won't be able to do anything. He goes to TP out on the Magnus, and there we go. Aegis used. We do see Dazzle getting focused down. Split has been used as well. Shadowgrave up. Can he spin into TP, or is he still committing for more? He's playing the air. Kill Juggernaut as well. I think he should just yeah. spin and TP it out. He might get actually a lot of kills now. Juggernaut, does he have his TP on him? I can't just select him, so yeah, he does. Yeah, so he yeah, could go for a spin into a TP now. But no, they commit for more. Axe does have his taunt available as well. It's called no blink available. Oh, God, he is burst down by the team. Gets the taunt, and he's just like, run away, Juggernaut. I'll die for your sins. At least uh, the Juggernaut didn't die again. Yeah, true. Healing Ward went down there, but I suppose it didn't matter. It already healed the Juggernaut to full. He should, I guess he's going uh, Yashi probably now. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think about the iron progress for the Juggernaut? Picking up the Yashi would be very nice, but... Uh, yeah. After, yeah, actually, after that... he isn't that farmed, but no one is really that farmed. He has the Molten Earth on the team. Um, and they are... They're gonna have some problems with him later, especially when they have the the Cleave with the, um, the Magnus Cleave. I'm not sure what it's called. Empower, Empower. yeah. Yeah, so, so he's just gonna get on power and it's gonna ult him. It's gonna do so much damage. Yeah, very, very, very nice. Uh, I think I think when they have um, Primal split up again, I think they should try to go for a tier 1 tower. Or at least smoke, maybe get a pick up, then go for a tier 1 tower. Yeah, they're gonna have to try and make some sort of uh, some work. Like you said, they've got a kind of ticking time bomb with the uh, RP uh, Juggernaut. Uh, let's let me quickly check the Witch Doctor's items. He has got a uh, Poibus on him, and they're just farming up the jungle. But Brewmaster still, like you said, disrupts these team fights, does quite a bit. Venge swaps have been on point, so I think we've got to give some credit to Gold on the scene. And Brewmaster did just get a kill up there on the Dazzle. In mid, Witch Doctor stunned out, gets a cast off, uses OE, but that is a very few OE. That was, looked like Witch Doctor was lagging. He just went mid and just stood there and then got swapped and then died. Oh, right, okay. I, I, did, really I didn't see weird. the start of that, but oh, wait. Juggernaut and Axe, the blinks available, but no, nothing. Yeah, so it might have been a case that he just lagged out and ran in mid. Which is a shame. They're actually pushing mid, but they only have three alive. I guess they're gonna take it 
quickly and then get out. Any pain? Oh, nearly got the deny there. To be fair. But right. I think uh, the Dyer is pretty happy just farming up and then waiting for next motion. Well, I would guess the Radiant is gonna probably push a tower now. Gonna try to force a team fight. Hmm. What do you think about? I, I like the amount of solubility the Dyer have with. A Tazzle, a Witch Doctor, and a Juggernaut, it's its a lot to get through. It feels yeah. like if the Radiant managed to sneak an Ancient Apparition in, they might have had a very easy time, but obviously it's always a always a weird one. For some reason, I can't see the Radiant Vision anymore. Oh, oh, uh, there's a keybind for that. I'm not sure what it is off the... because I've rebound my keys. Um, okay, if anyone knows that in the chat... Yeah, I'm not sure. Talk. Make sure obviously you don't press your pause key though, because uh, if you haven't disabled your pause, you can uh, still pause as a... Yeah, that would... <laughs> so yeah. Right, um, what I recommend is for casted uh, disabler normally, but... Right, we do see... Oh, what's happening at Axe? Are they gathered up together? Could be a potential for a smoke. Yeah, here we go, four man smoke. Trying to look for something. Juggernaut's still down bot, gotta be farming it up, but if Axe gets a nice taunt here, Magnus with the RP and the cast to follow, they should catch a piece of here. Lich, caught out, there's the taunt. Venge's there as well. That's a two-man RP. The courier was caught as well, but the courier wasn't focused down. Courier manages to fly away after being RP'd. Witch Dodoi was used. Queen of Pain used the OE to no real effect because she's been well, because there's so much healing. I got it fixed now, I can see both teams. Oh nice, good stuff, good stuff. I think the Raiden is in a lot of problems, problems now. They they shouldn't lose this mid game. So yeah, hopefully. they like that yeah. that torn onto the Lich, and the Venge came close to try and help out the Lich, and then was caught in the RP. I'm very uh, like shocked to see that the Courier didn't die as well because it was two people in the Courier, so it could have been slightly worse. But the fact that it was just the two supports, I guess that's you know not the worst thing. In I the think world. this Windrunner pick is X going in now. Oh. But the Windrunner is not torn to anything; he's just gonna die now. Yeah, know. Windrunner being so. We oh, said that's actually diving too far. Oh. Power shot able to focus him down. And yeah, Axe having to be forced back because the Brewmaster is just pushing the rest of his team yeah. fight away. Dazzle's up in the air. Juggernaut still up. Has his Omni Slash available. Has Mask Commanders as well. But Lich Oi used on the Dazzle. Dazzle's able to Shadow Grave himself. Buys him a bit more time. But he is just getting focused down now. And he's going to die. Again, Magnus pushes them back. Too. There's the Omni Slash. Damn. Only gets one kill with it. But I suppose no, Lich is there. And yeah, no shackle. So you should be able to run him down. Magnus is here ready to do more. But are they happy to just back out with that? Brewmaster blinks past them. The Brewmaster did so much this fight. He just X went in, but then Brewmaster just zoned all the rest of the team out. So they were able to just focus down the X and then try to clean up the rest. Mm. But again, Jarrah that just. Yeah, just too insane. It I think this, this Wind Ranger pick, I get the idea behind it that they want a range carry at bot because X is going there, but Wind Ranger, he doesn't really do much. It's. I think if they manage to get an Omni Knight or something like that, because it, it gives that Wind Runner the only thing she really needs, which is that, you know, the ability to stand against a lot of uh, people. Yeah. But. I, I, I don't know. I, I still really value Windrun as a core, but maybe, so maybe I'm biased in saying that oh, I, I think it can still do work. But we'll have to see how much they can do here. So this Juggernaut going Mensa, but Queen of Pain doesn't have any silence, so it's... I would say if Mensa is best if they have silence, we can just disable the silence, but they don't have any silence, so I'm not sure I think this Mensa pickup is that good. Just they also have a lot of AoE, so... Couldn't it be enough to disjoin the 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 Venge Sun, the Shackle, the the yeah, Dagger? I guess, but I, I guess that can be pretty good for that um, to disjoin those stuns. True. Yeah, but obviously, like you said, no no science. Normally, you would get yeah, just uh, deal with that, so you could still escape. But the man has been f uh, focused now. What what do you think is the next item for Juggernaut? Do you reckon he needs to get like an Agadibs Basher or any, anything else? Um, I think he may maybe a uh, MKB because they have Windrunner and Panda. Mm. Uh, so that could be a decent pickup, and also maybe just a bash that would also be pretty good. That's pretty nice. The smoke is the out on the Radiant, smoke, mm -hmm. and this could be a big fight. If they manage to get this up, they've got all their ultimates available, and Juggernaut doesn't have Omni Slash. Oh no, sorry, it was three seconds off, so he does have Omni Slash, and Axe manages to blink out! That was they close. They re now. <gasps> wow. RP on two. Oh, that's an awkward RP though. Caught them down the one down the hill, but it doesn't matter. They're going to go down. That's one dunk. That's going to be two dunks. There we go. Lich Oi's used. But that is a big Lich Oi. Blame now popped. Juggernaut about to go down, but the healer was so good. Oh, there's the power shot. Gets the kill. And Quat managed to blink away as well. That could have gone a hell of a lot worse for yeah, the Dyer. That was Dyer. a chaotic fight. Yeah. That Lich Oi did so much. Really? Oh, and there's another dunk. And this time Axe goes down. 
the Queen of Pain able to hold her ground. Magnus is focused, was shackled up there, and managed to get up high ground and goes to the TP, which is nice. But Windrun's there as well, doesn't manage to finish her off. Queen of Pain very low, got earned down, but this time, oh, Dazzle did get the kill on the Queen of Pain, which is very nice to see. And just want to say that Windrun doesn't do much, then he just has a huge impact on that team fight. Yeah, really, really nice. So, um, can you click on Dazzle, Dazzle a second, please? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's just taken Weave now, I believe. I. I really like the value point in Weave because I think he's, it provides a lot. He's keeping Windrun so. on the cliff that is pretty funny with Iron. So we need to get Windrun and Campling away. And Witch Dodd's now turned up, oh, but oh wait, Venge oh my God. just appeared and killed Dazzle and then just swapped, swapped him down. Him down. Venge's like, I've had enough of your crap, just wasting my time. So okay. yeah. Windrun Win had late that up, so now Venge is just stuck there with a 35 cents. Oh god. TP. So really, the swap was for nothing after killing the Dazzle. No, I agree. Juggernaut's there. Gets the cast got on the Brewmaster from the Witch Doctor, but he holds his ground, and Juggernaut's just there. He's got his Omni uh, Slash available. There's the Manta Split to dodge the Shackle. That would have been very nasty if he was Shackled with the Brewmaster armor, but uh, Witch Doctor should you probably you kill the fire guy. Yeah, he's going to kill the fire. When you kill the nice. fire, you think, like, 50% of the Panda's damage. It's the fire guy is the one that does pretty much all the damage. Yeah, and it could lead to ult, and Brewmaster does go down. So... A poor fight for the Radiant there in the river. And Venge is still up on this cliff. And they're like, oh, on the cliff. Let's Slow. kill. But there's oh, the swap. What a bait. This is. What a great bit of cliff, don't I? <laughs> this is all over the place, this game. Yeah, Magnus comes down. Able okay, to skew him back. Uh, there we go. Oh, and oh, they're on another they cliff. This shouldn't kill him. <laughs> they're just going to stand there. Oh my god, this game. Now this is just taunting gameplay. Witch Dog uh, doesn't care though, he really wants to kill. And there's another pause out. There's... I, I don't think we have to worry about too much that we pause the game because yeah. this guy's just pausing all the time. Oh uh, yeah, that's very true. I think this is a uh, cloudy. Clown shoes game. And uh, yeah, it wasn't quite over because they had the high ground and Venge eventually dies. I think they should have left her up there. That was all over the place. <laughs> And Queen of Pain nearly kills herself off the blade mail and just tries to back out. Shackle comes out, catches oh, Axe to the Dazzle, but they can't really. Doesn't Dazzle stay there? Yeah. Okay. I think, I think Windrunner should probably get a Garnums now. Um, it doesn't deal that much more damage, but you really need the reduced cooldown if you're going to be uh, one of the main carries. Yeah, if you're, I, I agree. Was it go for 60 seconds to 15? Is that right? Yeah, 60 yeah. seconds to 15 seconds. That's, that's huge. It's really, really nice. I think uh, the Maelstrom pickup is so nice, because even if she's ultied someone who has Shadow Grave, um, it, just the constant procs, it kind of works as like a lightning conduit where it just procs off everywhere, yeah. and uh, you might not even need to uh, re ulti someone with that much chain lightning going off like an axe, for example, but then again, he's the one with blade mail. Okay, right, what do we see here? In the jungle, there's going to be a bit of a catch. Axe catches the Lich, gets the taunt off. The rest of his team's not here, and Dazzle's here just to all attack him down. There's the juggernaut as well. Lich always used. Damn. Only a couple of bounces, and he's cold. So there's no Lich ult right now, and they could actually just go push a tower. Radiant did get the tier 1 down, and Juggernaut, here's the Musk Man, is able to chase him down, but no, decides to bottle it at the last second. Looks like they may actually be pushing mid now. Yeah. No Rosh from the die. Do you reckon they should maybe go take it now? Or do you yeah, reckon they, could, they could take mid tower and go for Rosh afterwards. Sure, yeah. yeah. There still won't be any lead shards here. Windrunner is top of the net worth now. Pretty nice to see. That's actually kind of interesting. I guess she got the better out of those fights. Yeah, I, I suppose, like you say, if Niwa team's really that farming, and there's 40 kills in 26 minutes, and there's a nice catch. Oh, and again, a good swap. The Yules comes out from the Queen of Pink. She thinks she's already caught, so she managed to just uh, escape. Venge is coming through with they the... They could actually push on now. They could also do the safe thing and take Roche, but I think they may push on. Let's see what they do. Judging from how ballsy their players are, I think they're going to try and go all in and try and get a uh, racks here. Which are they going the for Roche now? This is a kind of risky TP for, for Juggernaut. Also, he should go um, go high ground so they don't can't see that he's TP, because right now they're just chasing the enemy. And they may actually get a, a few pickups now. There should be a couple, yeah. Yules wasn't used to cancel the TP, but I suppose they can see the axe here. And there's the Shadow Grave into the TP, uh, oh, but he has to the, split. split. But wait! And he gets the TP. Oh, oh no. So this, this rush right now is just pretty much free rush. There's no Broom to split and literally I'll see. Okay, literally I'll, I'll see. one start. second, but yeah. Um, <laughs> that is a disaster there for that. Because I was about to say, if Creed of Pain holds the Yules, they won't have, you know, they'll be able to cancel the TP. But yeah. she used it, and then Brewmaster was forced to not get the. the... Oh, damn, that's an issue. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, 
Fair enough. And Axe gets the Blink Taunt onto Creeper Pain, which not always used. And there's the Shock Grave, but not quite enough. The oh, beautiful time in there. Magnus, just just showing who's got the. So Jarvis trying to solo rush him right now. And I think they spotted it, but that's what we're not, not thinking to about it. Yeah, I think they're just going to play it safe. And Power now on, on the Chocolate as well. And that's very nice. So, gem out on the Dazzle. Just going to be used to really keep control of the map with these walls. Yeah, they visual. want the map control now, and if they just get out of the watch, this really nice. Whoa! Brewmaster! I, I think this is a bit of her. I, I think. <laughs> I actually think that it's not like he didn't give up, but I think he tried to. Snatch. Yeah, snatch. And yeah. it's really. Like, you can't really do it against good players because pretty much all good players will just take their Aegis as quickly as possible. No, sure, yeah. Um, if there's a. Oh, and Shadow Blade out on Magnus now. But yeah, uh, like you said, if you if you blink in, don't get the snatch, you're like, well, I fucked up, so I've got to pay the price. Yeah. Winner and now got the Aghanims. Do you reckon that could be enough to change the tide? I think it's still pretty equal in the battles. Like, it, it really depends on what ultis they get off. If, if yeah. Mag gets a big ult here and. Juggernaut doesn't really have much at this point and... Teamfight execution is going to have a large part of it. Yeah. Brewmaster split's going to be up when he respawns. And the swaps have been pretty on point. So if they manage to waste some ultimates by uh, swapping out, it's still hard to say because a good... Oh, there we go. That's a uh, <laughs> illusion being placed yeah, down. A... But that's a nice use of the They're just getting the tower right now and... Yeah, Brewmaster goes in, uses the split. Juggernaut has to force out. Axe gets a lich on right now, that would be really huge. Yeah, when the healing ward's still up on Axe, Queen of Pain managed to get it down, but Juggernaut, oh, Axe is going to go down really soon, at least, and yeah, Axe goes down, but that's the three-man RP, oh. Witch Doctor, it's a disaster! I even and forgot completely up. about Magnus, so he even fooled me. Like, yeah. I think everyone forgot about Magnus, and suddenly, bam, that's it a great is, answer. It is the case where you get hungry for that kill, and then you realise, oh, we're all on top of each other, there's the GG, yeah. and that's the game. Well played to the dire, but there there was some good plays either side. I think that you know, it's one of those I think things. It was, it was kind of risky that they went win on a safe lane, and it didn't work out that well. He still got shut down against X and Dazzle is just such a strong lane. No, yeah, I I I I agree that like it's an odd game looking at the farm though. <laughs> Neither team really was focused that much on farming. There was a lot of rotations, a lot of team fights, and ultimates being thrown all over the map. Yeah. Um, right, should, we, uh, should we take a, a break now? Uh, yeah, sure. And maybe we could uh, try to work out how I can watch your uh, web camera. Yes, um, that would that would be a, a hell of a lot easier for you, yeah. I imagine, as well, because you could just focus on the uh, speaker then. I'll have a look. Uh, uh, t -t 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 so, do you want to... What's, what's the plan? Do I think I'm going to shut, shut my stream off now. Right, and, cool. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna get myself vouch for EEL casting as well to make it easier sure. for me to get games but you, you're already vouched aren't you so I suppose yeah. it's not that bad for getting games and I also I also talked to a joint daughter I sent them a request there so um, we can uh, also cast a game there oh, brilliant. Time. good stuff yeah and see you guys on my stream as well I know I haven't been streaming recently and I will get round to it I promise sorry it's been a bit all over the place recently so make sure to Keep an eye out because I will be casting more in the future. And I will be casting more in the future with Slasher as well. So talk to you guys soon. And I will be about in the chat. So if you've got any questions for me, I will answer them as a moment of conversation. So talk soon in a bit.